Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will be looking at two very useful features of the Zap application. One is the fuzzer. Fuzzer is similar to the intruder function we are getting in the PubSuite application. Now, we are using the intruder function for brute forcing attacks, for brute forcing directories, for brute forcing login forms brute forcing local file inclusions and so on another function is the psrf poc generation okay this function is only available inside the pubsuit pro edition but this function is also available inside zap application here in the zap application this function is known as anti csrf form generation so Let's get started with the lecture and we will be looking at the first tool. I have already set my browser proxy to the Zap application. Okay. And we will be using the damn vulnerable application for testing the fuzzer tool. Okay. And we will be testing for file inclusion, local file inclusion. Okay. So you can see here the link and we will be testing this parameter for file inclusion okay let me refresh this page so that we can get uh, our link inside the app okay so let me click on this and the vwa vulnerabilities and we got yes this is the link so you can see our link here Okay, we got the page parameter and the value is include dot php. So to first this request, just right click and you will find the option first. Okay, click on the first and you will see that the fuzzer pop up box will be appear. Click on the remove and we will be selecting the uh, place we want to brute force okay so we will be brute forcing the value of the page okay so select this one and add so a new box will be pop up and it will ask for the payloads okay you can add payloads using the text file okay click on the add and type of the payload select file now you'll get the option to select the file click on select and i will be selecting the file that is available on my desktop that is lfi path to test okay now you can also uh, define what number of payloads you want to test if you want to test all the payloads available inside the file you can also do that but if you want to test limited and click on the limit and i will be testing only first hundred okay and i will click on the add so you can see our first parameter for the fuzzing has been set up and we will be clicking on okay so you can see here are the location of the fuzzer has been added okay to start the fuzz click on the start fuzzer okay you will see the fuzzer add-on uh, tab will be added here and uh, it will first for the hundred first hundred payloads now to detect the uh, payloads which are uh, uh, successfully got executed we have to see the size of the response okay we are checking uh, lfi by res uh, response uh, size we are getting okay so here you can see we have different number of page side so this is the common that is 3635 bytes okay let me click on that and uh, i will click right click on that and 
I will click on open and return to request editor and then I will click on the send button here we are not getting any execution okay so this uh, payload is not getting executed okay let us uh, look at the another request that is 4508 bytes okay let me select this one and I will again send it to editor and click on send okay so you can see these LFI location is successfully getting executed you can see inside the response tab okay similarly you can find for another uh, greater side uh, size request that is 5105 bytes again select this request and click on right click and send it to editor again click on send and you can see this request is also getting executed so in this way we can use the further tool for brute forcing directories and other testing uh, uh, other vulnerabilities which are related to brute forcing attacks okay now let us move on to the another function that is psrf poc function okay proof of concept function now the csrf uh, poc function is only available for the post request and okay, not for the get in this app application because for the get request we can simply send the link and uh, we can execute or we can say that we can exploit the vulnerabilities but for the post we can use the function known as generate ntcsrf test form okay so let me go back to tvwa and we will be testing for stored accesses so here i will be giving hello and the message test for csrf C okay, and I will click on the sign guest guest book. So let us find the request. So you can see that uh, our request is here inside the history tab. So this is the post request. Inside the post request, if you click right click on this request, you will find the generate anti CSRF form. Okay, once you click. It will automatically generate a form for you. So this form you can save this form as an HTML code also by right click on this page and click on view page source. You will find the HTML code. Just select the HTML code and copy it. Now close this one and you can also save this file by opening leaf pad or notepad right click and paste it you can change it here the parameters okay and you can save this form as an poc for csrf i'll be saving it on desktop let me give it csrf.html okay so this is just similar like uh, we are right uh, we are generating uh, csrf code inside the pop suit and then we are used to copy the html code so here is the code and you can simply double click on it and it will get executed here is the text name hey hey and the i will click on the submit and let's look at our csrf form successfully get executed and this is the test for csrf poc so in this in this lecture we have looked at the intruder function of the bob suit which is known as a fuzzer in this app application 
and we have look at the csrf poc function by which we can generate the csrf pocs using this app application which is only available in the pop shoot pro edition